is on I ordered the coral blue color which has a nifty soft orange tone metal frame it's a great look of course the stylus and there's no Samsung logo in the front underneath we have the earbuds they're in a shaded tinted case and they appear to be white just like the charging brick USB-C cable and OTG adapter we also got some extra stylus tips with the extraction tool and the micro USB adapter I won't be using any of these accessories, so I put them back, and now we'll take the plastic off and turn this baby on. KT is Korea's second largest mobile operator behind SK Telecom. Formerly, this state-owned outfit was called Korean Telecom, and that's all in Korean, so we'll be right back. Okay, so thanks to a quick consult with Google Translate, I've got everything here in American, and I'll set up things here and take a walk around. Okay, setup is complete. The device is currently downloading my 100 plus applications. Um, you know, one of the things that people complain about sometimes on American carrier branded devices is bloatware and pre-installed software. Well, count your blessings because this thing is chock full of Korean branded software. As far as the new Samsung Experience UI, it's visually identical to what we've seen on the Galaxy S8. The fingerprint reader works uh, with no drama. It also sets the display to 1080p by default. Bixby is on board, though you can deactivate that page if you want. Probably the other thing I'll have to get used to are the navigation keys. These follow the old Samsung back key on the right, app switcher on the left of the home button. On the back, like all Galaxy devices of late, we are greeted with a fingerprint magnet. So I have some cases at the ready. After charging the device up for a little while, the Note FE was cool to the touch. Connectivity-wise, this device is picking up AT&T's LTE network here in Northern California. The device matched the carrier APNs with no input from me. It is missing one of uh, AT&T's aggregated LTE bands. I'm not sure which one, but even so, my first speed test done at the peak of streaming.